Well hello and welcome to my latest video. I thought it was time that I started a new project, a new series of videos which is going to be called The Great Cycling Climbs of Kent. Yes, my plan is to cycle up all, yes I'm talking about all of the hills in Kent and I shall make a video about each climb. So we could be in for quite a long haul but I hope you'll stay with me on this one. And we're going to start uh, the first climb, which is in West Wickham, which is called Mead Way, uh, which is a fairly gentle climb, and we're going to set out on that uh, fairly shortly. But I thought I just ought to say, uh, you may be looking at my left eye, or my right eye, as you're looking at it in your side of the screen, and you're thinking, what has happened to Julian's eye? Well, the thing is, I was reading in the Radio Times about how you could get rose-tinted tattoos on your eyeballs. It's designed especially for people who voted Brexit to let them see all the benefits, you know, of, of Brexit, all the good things that perhaps they might have missed. And I thought, as I've been looking at things in a rather dark and sinister way lately, perhaps I ought to do the same thing and also get my eyeballs rose tinted and then I can see things, you know, and they'll look, they'll look sunny and, and happy and cheerful and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, uh, being a person who likes to uh, uh, cut down his expenditure and know there's a cost of living crisis, I went to a kind of backstreet um, abortionist, tattooist, you know, the kind of person, I mean, you wouldn't want to get that job mixed up after you've had a skin full the night before. Anyway, they kind of, they seem to have got the tint wrong. So I've got a kind of red bloody tint uh, in my left eye. So I'm not really seeing things in a particularly happy way at the moment. I'm, think, I'm seeing things in a kind of serial killer way. Um, but it's possible it will get better. It may not, but uh, anyway, let's get stuck in uh, to the great hill climbs of Kent, starting with number one, which is called Meadway. So, this is Meadway in West Wickham, and this is what's known as an urban climb, uh, because it's in, the, it's in the city or the town, if you like. It's not out in the countryside. And uh, Meadway it starts off fairly benign, uh, which we'll see when I'm on the bike. Uh, but then it, it toughens up into a kind of lung-busting uh, three and a half, three and three quarters percent, possibly. So it's a good place to start uh, if you're new uh, to hill climbing. Now, I'm sorry about all this traffic. We are in the middle of rush hour on a Sunday afternoon, so there are quite a few cars that are bothering us, but we're going to try not to let them bother us for too long. So, uh, what I suggest you do is, uh, if you're at home and you've got a turbo, I suggest you put your bike on the turbo, then you put this uh, video on your screen, uh, and then start cycling, and you can watch the video, and we can do the uh, Meadway climb together. Okay, as you can see, the Meadway climb starts off relatively gentle. Uh, I'm in uh, uh, a reasonably high gear. Uh, my front chain ring uh, is on 57 teeth. And my uh, rear chaining uh, is on 90. Now it's starting to ramp up a bit, so I'm going to drop down to the small chaining, and the small chaining that I have is 14 teeth. And I'm going up to the larger cog on the back, uh, which is 27 teeth. And as you can see, my breathing is getting a little bit laboured because the the climb gets tougher. Uh, as you can see, we are, we are in an urban environment. And uh, you may not know this, but all of the climbs in Kent are actually man-made. Uh, none of them are due to the natural topography of the landscape. They were created uh, initially by the Romans in the early 19th century. Uh, as a way of creating work uh, for the poor people. So what they did was they collected all of the sewage which had been produced over the thousands of years. And of course, sewage treatment plants hadn't been invented, so they had nothing to do with the sewage except leave it lying around in big piles. So somebody said, oh, why don't we turn these into hills? And of course, other people said, well, what's a hill? Because they'd never seen one. And uh, the person who said his name was Hill, funny enough, Benny Hill, uh, said, uh, well, it, it's a kind of, it's a kind of high place on the landscape. 
And uh, when people invent bicycles and things like that, you'll be able to ride up them and create YouTube videos for the entertainment of the masses. So we are continuing to climb up one of the first uh, man-made uh, sewage climbs in, uh, in Kent. Uh, the gradient is reaching a uh, pretty significant four and a quarter percent at the moment. So I'm dropping down gradually through the gears. My gears are getting lower and lower and lower. And you may not know this, but gear inches refers to uh, the number of inches that uh, you go forward for each turn of the pedals. So if you're in a really excessively low gear, which is known as a granny gear, you do actually achieve what's called negative momentum. And that means for each turn of the pedals, you actually go backwards. So it takes quite a long time to uh, conquer some of the harder climbs that uh, uh, you may have encountered. Now, obviously my, my uh, oh, oh, I'm struggling a bit on this climb, the old breathing's getting a bit laboured. Um, it's not a climb for uh, perhaps a younger person, well, uh, it's, it is a climb for a younger person, rather. It's not a climb for an older person, somebody, somebody such as myself. Uh, particularly when I'm getting passed by these cars, uh, some of these cars may be electric, uh, some of them run on gas, some of them run on petrol, some of them run on hot air, and uh, uh, Radio 2 presenters are very good at running their cars on uh, hot air. Now, we're reaching, reaching the top of the climb, and you can see the crowds of people gathered to see me uh, 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 top, top out on this particular climb, and because I'm going so fast, they've had to, they've had to bring in traffic lights to stop me, otherwise I will overshoot the climb. Well, there it is, midway, and uh, number one, in uh, Julian's great, whew, great cycling climbs of Kent. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please, um, please, um, what was I going to say? Uh, uh, please get your eyeballs tattooed, but I suggest you use a rose colour rather than a red colour, like I did. And uh, tune in for the next instalment of uh, the great cycling climbs of Kent. And number two is going to be uh, short, an incredibly steep, steep one known as Coppenberg of uh, uh, West Wickham and it's called Pickers Rise. So tune in, same time, same channel and improve your cycling. And of course if you're on the turbo and uh, you thought you haven't been cycling for very long, you could just tee up now the second video that hasn't been made yet and uh, practice some more of your climbing. And uh, hope you enjoy it. Take care. Take care. See you next time.